Would it be funny if when I left, I got hit by a car? <laughs> I'm like, bye, thanks for the best night of my life. Right here. Oh. You know? Well, you, they could already bury you in that suit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Scissor siblings, come see me live in St. Petersburg, Florida, Chicago, Illinois, Los Angeles, California, Huntington Beach, California, Houston, Texas, Austin, Texas, and just added New York City, Las Vegas, and Kansas City. Get your tickets at jeremiahwatkins.com. Thank you so much for your support. Now let's get into this episode of Scissor Bros. Did you, did you research this one? No. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Scissor Bros, where we do stunts with absolutely no research. Scissor Brothers! Welcome back to another episode of the Scissor Bros Podcast. <laughs> Are we recording? Uh, my name is Steven, uh, a.k.a. Stevie Weeby, and this is uh, the main dude, co-hosting the main man himself, Jeremiah Watkins. Go watch him all around the globe. He's doing some shows. We're going to be in uh, at a comedy festival soon. In Co Houston. In Houston, Texas. Yeah. Come watch us. You don't want to miss it. We're going to do fun stuff as far as our challenges and our vibrations are going to be at the highest positive level. Please come see us, I man. I kind of like this public access energy you're throwing at the viewers right now you're trying listeners. to keep it real positive you know because yeah. there's ups and downs in life man you gotta you gotta stay above the waters man yeah before if you don't want to be down where the sharks and stuff can come trying to chew your ankles off okay you you, you want to be above and just you know and then triumph i like that You got something for this, my friend? Do I have what? I'm st I'm setting you up, dude. I know, but I'm setting I, you up, dude, for a beautiful harmonica song. So get some. Lyrics you want me to sing over the harmonica? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is not an easy task. Okay. some crusties in my eyes when I awake my eyes must have been crying cause it formed a lake Where do the crusties come from? Did an angel spit in my eyes? Am I awake or dreaming? I would like a side of fries I think this is the end of the song. It's the end of the song. See? 
If you're still with us right now, thank you so much for watching and listening to Scissor Bros. Yeah. That went a little bit better than I thought it would. Yeah, I was going to set you up for, uh, yeah, I wasn't going to go crazy. Right. I was going to keep, you know, I know what you need, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. I didn't know if you were going to do. But the crusty, you're talking about. I crusties. Oh, I have to address something. And I know that we're not supposed to look at the comments, but this has been a recurring comment that is about me looking out for you. And I just want to give the listeners and viewers some context. Um, wait, wait, Steve wait. is far away from me right now. I can't really distinguish super close details on his face. I guess in a couple episodes recently, you had a booger in your nose. And as your sister brother, I didn't see it to let you know that you should have cleaned it out. Dude, it's so crazy you said that because I just did a um, edited a vlog where I go to the Melrose Trading flea market. I had a booger in my nose the whole time. <laughs> Was it the same one? Mm-hmm. It's it's like it's that it's, nostril. It's like a dry crusty. Oh, it's a dry. It's it's not a, actually a booger. It's dry. It's dry skin. It's dry skin. Well, maybe that was on my mind with the crusty eye song. I get I get dry boogers all the time, even on my own podcast. There's there's booger dry crusties all the yeah like, yeah. Well, sorry for not seeing it. No, it's fine. And I was just I I actually this one was real noticeable. Like on my vlog, I'm like, oh, there's did like it ma- did it make the thumbnail? <laughs> <laughs> was it that big? Then it made the thumbnail? Well, it was noticeable. I didn't know. I didn't put it on my thumbnail, but I it bothered me well, when I was you editing have, it. I think you have more open nostrils than me. Whoa, that hurt me just now. <laughs> what? Whoa. You have open nostrils. I do have like... They're more wide. open. Wide. They're wide. Yeah. I mean, you know, mine are bigger. They're more like... But mine are like wider. More's are your, yours are more circular. Saying the wrong thing already, man. What? Um, Mine's like yeah. a mountain. You know? Yeah. Yeah. There's all kinds of. Uh, I I don't know if you could call, call them quirk quirks quarks quirks or quirks? Uh, yeah quirks quirks Q U I R K S is that a real word? Yep. Did that movie just come out with? I got weird. Silent Physical Bob, quirks. Jay and Silent Bob, quirks. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and um, dry skin, boogers, all kinds of things. Hey, you yeah. know what I think about you? Yeah, perfect just the way you are. You're perfect just the way you are. Do 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 do. I have a piano. If you want to keep singing, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't know. Because I like, I, I don't I, even know. I like, I like what I don't you're know. doing. I don't know what song that is. I. Maybe it's from the 70s. But anyway, yeah, it bothered me. Oh, I wanted to also apologize uh, for, uh, and my girlfriend's brought this up as far as my urination, uh, my drizzle. Um, Yeah, man. Um, And I was in denial about it, but then um, even on my bathroom floor, I mean, there's just, just dry urine, just dry urine, right? Like the head of the uh, toilet, mm-hmm. and like, and then even when I used to uh, visit my 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 girl in Pittsburgh, even in the hotel, she would say, "Babe, you should stop peeing on the ground." And I'm like, "No, I did it. I was in denial about it, but yeah, I, I I know I do that." And then did she walk you in there and show you? No, I just usually take a baby wipe and just wipe it real quick. Yeah, um, but I I'm sorry for doing that in your bathroom. It's okay, man. Yeah, but I think can I, in my defense, I think since I am getting older, because I'm halfway through my life, more than halfway probably through my life. Has that been weighing on you lately? What do you mean by that? The peeing? No, like you you said that in a way where you've been thinking a lot about that lately, like... I think about death. (laughs) I do. Uh Uh-huh. I mean... And? Are you for it or against it? Well, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I, you know, it's weird. No one really talks about death. Everyone, no one talks about it. I like, I, it. it. Welcome to the death <laughs> episode of Scissor Bros, where we talk yeah. about death. Um, Can we do some death scissors? Yeah. Uh, how are we going to do our hands? Um, uh, oh. 
Uh, I, no, I, I, ooh, I just caught myself. What? I, I was going to do the, like scissors oh, like, like a, this. <laughs> yeah, like this. <laughs> oh, like this. Death scissors? Oh, choking? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Is that... Let's do something positive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no knives, no chokes. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, okay. you just, uh, How about some life scissors? Huh? Some life scissors. What do you mean? You know, something that makes you happy. What makes you happy? Jazz hand figures. Jazz hand scissors? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. One, two, two three, four. four. You gotta do the head. Six, seven, eight, nine. Are you doing it with Ten, us at home? Eleven. Twelve. Uh, Come on. 11, I know it appears 11, silly, but we promise 15, you, you'll 16, feel better 17, if you do this along 18, with us at home. Nineteen. There's a 20, science behind 20, it. 21. Of doing something in unison with friends and people and you love. And we love you guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't... Yeah, I know. Well, let's stick on the death. Uh, let's stick to the death. Did you ever used to watch Faces of Death? I, you know what? That was something where, even back then, because... You know, those were like just a real taboo thing Gnarly. where you had one... You know, it's one of those things you heard through the grapevine, like you heard a... You know, Chad Willis has got the fucking volume three, dude. We're all going to meet at his. House. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like we're all going to meet. And then it scared me. I'm like, oh, like, what? what is that? Dude, you haven't heard of Faces of Death, man. If they show the real, you know, like back then. I mean, now it would be con considered like the dark web or something. But back then it was right. like they actually showed death. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, like, when, how did you find out about Faces I of Death? I never really watched it. I just heard about it more from, like, friends at school and stuff like that. They're like, yeah. a guy got ran over by a train. Want to see this? And I'd just be like, no, I'm good. Yeah. It's, so, Faces of Death back then, it was, a, it was like, it, they're on VHS tapes and stuff. Yeah. And it was like, I don't even know how they got a hold of it, but it was just this taboo, secret thing where only like one dude at your whole school had it right and then it spread and like people would be like oh dude how did he get that tape you yep. know it's like the it's like and it showed death did you like the movie the ring mm, not necessarily i mean i thought the the one scene that stands out is when the you know when the the lady comes out of the well and then like comes through the tv screen that that kind of stands out um but there's that new M. Night Shyamalan movie dropping soon. Yeah, no, you've been excited about Knock that. Knock at the Cabin. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen the trailer? Um, no. no I th yeah, you're going to go see that with your girlfriend, so I, I just kind of forgot it out of my memory. <laughs> First you invited me, and then you go, oh, no, I'm going to go see it with my girlfriend. You and I was like, what? okay, okay. Oh, by the way, happy anniversary to you and your girl. One year. I saw you posted a picture. Yeah, I mean, it was a, upon her request and mine, and we wanted to, you know, solidify, yeah, nice. you know. Um, I love her, and uh, yeah, I, I thought it'd be, you know, it made her feel good as well, you know. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, I oh, know. Oh, yeah, you guys are I know I've been, proud I've been, of each other. What was that? I said you guys are proud of each other. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, I just wanted to, you know, it made her feel good as well, you know. Taken man. Do you, do you get DMs from... But of uh, other ladies, they don't like because they know you're it's, taken. It's right? not often. I also not don't put often. out that energy. So yeah, that's you a know, big part of it. Yeah, like when I go out on the road and stuff like that. Like when talking yeah, to people after yeah, oh, show, I, I don't. I, I, I've been yeah. there with you. I come. Yeah. You're a straight shooter. Yeah. 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 You don't. Yeah. And I think that even if you were single, you would probably make it awkward or something. You're saying if I was hypothetically single, that yeah, I would like, drop the ball let's play with women? A scenario. Oh, Mr. I, I, Stevie I, I, scenarios I, lately. I, I, this is all, this, I, I get excited. I, I know, this. you love your scenarios. Okay, so you're in um, Dayton, Ohio. Okay. And you're Very at, uh, you're at, uh, at a comedy club. And then after the show, you know, you're selling your, uh, album, you're, you're selling your merch and just this hot, blonde just comes up to you and she goes and she's the last one you know the meet you do the meet and greet so and she waited till the very she end she waited for you okay and she purposely got in the back 
of the line because she's like, I want to be the very last person that meets Jeremiah Watkins. Mm -hmm. And boy, do I have a plan. Okay. And so when... Do you want to put on a wig for this? I have a blonde (sighs) wig. (laughs) He's going to transform in three, two, one. (laughs) Action. This is the most hideous woman I've ever seen. Hi, Jeremiah. Hi. Uh, my name is uh, Brittany. Mm-hmm. I'm your your biggest fan. Oh. Oh, thank you. And what are you doing right now? Uh. Well, I'm uh, about to pack up and uh, call it a night. Oh, no. We're spending time together. Do you play pool? No. But I'm not opposed to going to the pool hall with you, but where are you staying? What hotel? Uh. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Sorry, I had to take my daily dose. <laughs> um, the the club put me up in a hotel down the street. Well, I'm gonna go there with you tonight. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I I think that um, it's, it's nice to meet you, but take a look at these. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going with you. <laughs> I know you're single because I don't see any females on your Instagram. Uh, I, I'm actually married. No, you're not. I know the internet. I'm, what you, I, I'm a sleuth. So I know everything about you. And I'm ready. Okay. Oh, that good? <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I like how your idea of hot girl <laughs> is doing lines on her hand at, at the meet was, and greet after that, the show. That was, that was, that was good was, improv, man. That was, a, that was just a choice I made yeah. in the middle of the care. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, so, well, you handled that pretty well, um, but I think, yeah, you would definitely, you would, yeah, you, since you're at the comedy club, I think you would do that. You would just be like, no, I'm going to eat and do this and, you know, yeah, I don't even a, think you would take their, I would, you wouldn't even take their info. I don't think you would get a number. I don't think, yeah, th- you wouldn't There's do some guys that, um. You know. That uh, pick up girls like after shows and like oh, I yeah, never we've in- heard about we've heard about all this <laughs> we've heard about it <laughs> but I've never I, I've, but you're not one of them yeah 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 oh, that's fine yeah that's even fine. when I was single it just didn't make sense to me to mix business with you know what that's what you got to be though if it is business isn't it yeah like I'm watching Breaking Bad <laughs> Walter White's not doing the Blue Crystal. Huh? What's the appeal of Breaking Bad? I mean, isn't that an older show? It's like, an older show, but it's just, it's one of the best shows I've ever seen. Yeah. And like, I'm like, it took me forever to start watching it because mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I'll get around to it. And then like, it's the same reaction I've had with The Sopranos. It took me forever to watch it. And then when I watched it, I was like, okay, well, I get why people were obsessed with it. I get it. Isn't that from like early 2000s? Yeah. Something? You're getting it too now. Yeah. Like, we're watching it now. We're in like season two. It's great. I think we're talking too much because I, I've had a... What do you mean you think we're talking too much? Well, no, because I, I thought of, I've been wanting to do a challenge like this. Can I set it up for you? Because we have to do it kind of towards the top. Okay. I didn't want to get that. Is that okay? I didn't mean yeah, to cut yeah, you yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could continue with the Breaking I just, Bad thing, I just got know? the... No, no, no. I just got the chills, but go ahead. Well, the chills in what way? Like I want you to... Sort through that. Like, what's going on? I have, I had a chill run through my body when you said that you had an idea for a challenge because the way you said it was chilling. So, well, let me ask you something. So, when I come up with ideas, you're not, you're not too enthusiastic when it's coming from me. If it comes from the mind of of Stevie Weeby, then it's concerning. It is. Why? Why is that? I always do fun ones. Because you are the mastermind behind Toe Jenga. I know. I know. Bo- yeah, yeah, dude. This is harmless. It okay. is an eating challenge. So I want to let me just let me just let me map it out for you. Okay. So, 
I always wanted to do a thing. Um, I even had an idea one time, like to do a whole segment called Dry Nuts. Not my scrotum. Right. Um, more like, because uh, my dad used to eat peanuts uh, growing up. And then he used to, uh, and I'm like, oh, like, he's always like eating them, then drinking a sip of his beer, eating them. But I thought of an idea, like, what if we do a challenge of who could eat the most peanuts, like it's a contest, but mm -hmm. then, so the the contest is, it's a peanut eating contest where we eat large portions, a whole bottle of peanuts. But then this is the kicker. Um, whoever does it first wins and gets to eat their like favorite cold beverage for the remainder of the podcast. The loser can't drink anything and has to continue the podcast with a, like a Mojave Desert mouth, like dry. Well, are and do, the, do peanuts dry out your mouth? Yeah. That's why I, I kind of prefaced it with my dad drinking his beer with his peanuts. So, uh, Ryan, did you want to add to the uh, challenge? Yeah, in addition to not being able to drink, you'll be having some pure cranberry juice, which is a natural astringent, which means it will additionally dry out your mouth. We're doing peanuts and cranberry juice. Mm -hmm. how, well, how, many times you, how many times do you have to drink the cranberry juice with, while you're eating the peanuts? Oh no 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 no! Just the loser has to do that. The loser has just to the do cup that. of it at the end, if they lose. Yeah, to make your mouth drier. And then you have dry mouth the rest of the podcast. Yeah, mm -hmm. or you can't. You can't. <laughs> you can't drink anything. You're gonna have a real. Did dry. you do you research this one? No. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Scissor Bros, where we do stunts with absolutely no research. <laughs> Let's set it up, baby. Let's set it up, baby. <laughs> I mean, this one is just so... It's so bizarre. This is the dry mouth challenge? Yeah, it's the dry mouth challenge. It's okay, dry, okay. It's dry. okay, man. I love you, brother. Let's do it. I love you too, man. I've been wanting to do this. You know what? What? Today is your day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, welcome back. We're going to, um, the way this works is uh, we're going to pour as many peanuts on our paper towels. And at the very end, to see who wins, uh, Ryan's going to measure the amount of peanuts. We have a scale over there. And then, uh, yeah. The loser can't drink anything, and uh, the winner gets to drink a ice cold Gatorade or a Fiji water mm. um, throughout the remainder of the podcast. Are you ready? So maybe we could. Can we pour the peanuts on the paper towels now? Uh, probably wait till we start. Yeah, yeah. I love that um, we're doing this. Um, I have to tape a uh, stand up set later tonight, so really hope my mouth doesn't break up. Thanks for choosing this challenge, buddy. Oh, dude, you don't have a, a nut. Re You're not allergic to nuts, are you? I will find out. Oh, no, it's going to be What like if my face swelled up by eating too much peanuts? It would be like Hereditary. Charlie from Hereditary. You know how she has a peanut allergy. Yeah. Okay, guys, okay. here we go. Uh, are you? Hey. Already five. Wow. You already have yours four, off. Four, so. three, two, one. Okay. Oh, this is a lot of peanuts, dude. Okay, are we gonna go? Ready? All right, hold up. Ryan, you count down. Yeah, it's going, it's going. What are you doing? You're still not in the mm. camera. <laughs> okay, immediately. <laughs> immediately, I'm like, I, I literally was like, oh, I'll be able to handle pound. It's time, right? Yep. It's time? Yep. How many are we gonna do in five minutes? Yep. Okay. The first couple. Oh, this is so dry, dude. I feel like I'm eating like dry sand. This is the 
not fun. <laughs> That's a horrible idea. You freaking chose this, dude. He keeps picking ones that you can't eat. You have messed up teeth. This is way harder than I thought. I know. This is insane. I know, this is hard. This is hard. This is absolutely insane. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. You have no idea what we're putting through our bodies. This is insane. It's insane. It's protein and fat and sodium. Lots of sodium. Mm -hmm. I should have thought this dude has a bigger mouth. Why would you choose a chewing challenge, bro? I don't know. I have like five teeth. Oh, so <laughs> stupid. First time he's done that. <laughs> Is your mouth drying up big time? Dude, yeah. It's like quicksand in my mouth. Really? Yeah, dude. I'm so stupid for choosing it. This <laughs> stupid challenge. I'm glad you're saying it. Yeah, pour yours back in. Yeah, well, I'll do it. The paper towel. Dude. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Steve. Was this just a mess with me that... <laughs> How is that fucking possible? How is that possible? It's because you store food in your pouches like a chipmunk in your mouth. <laughs> so you have to drink tr cranberry juice now? This is pure cranberry juice. You choose how much he drinks because he had barely any peanuts. Yeah, dude. What do you mean, dude? You this is your soul. Dude, you guys did something, man. You did some Houdini shit no, on dude, me. No, dude, look how no, much No, man, have. you did some Houdini shit, man. There's no way, bro. <laughs> you were eating so slow. There's no way, dude. You won, bro. Good job. You're the win. Go ahead, Can bro. I make an announcement? Yeah. Big announcement. You gonna plug the Patreon or something? No. What? This is the date. Mark the calendars. March 21st. March 21st. I will be releasing my next one hour special yeah. on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Jeremiah Watkins, for free. I'm not making you guys do the moment or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, Jeremiah. I just want you guys to support it, like it, comment it, tell friends. Yes. Uh, I don't want to do like a paywall or anything. Yeah. I love you guys. I appreciate all the support that you guys have shown me on Scissor Bros and beyond and with Stand Up On The Spot and everything. This is mainly material. Mm -hmm. I know I do a lot of crowd work and riffing, but this is about I want to say probably about 45 to 50 minutes of, uh, of material and then about 5 to 10 of crowd work just because nice. I like doing that. Can you do a premiere or something? Or can they I'll do, do something yeah, I'll do, where I'll, they do donations where they can donate? If they want to, yeah. I'll do a YouTube premiere like I do uh, with some of my other stuff. But, good, uh, good, good. Yep, I'm very excited. It's called, uh. it's called Jeremiah Watkins' Daddy. Yeah, yeah. good, good, good. Yeah. Good for you, man. Yeah, good. buddy. Um, you should do something when you do premiere it or... I'll premiere it. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, do a premiere. Okay. Yeah. All right, um... Might even ask you to hang out in the chat with us. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I'll do that with you. Yeah? Yeah, okay, why not? Cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, so this is... It's your day, it's your day now. It says shake well. Jesus. Mm -hmm. oh, Stevie got a UTI. Stevie, no, got a no, UTI. no, 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 UTI, dude. Stevie, no, got there a ain't UTI. no Utah, no UTI, Stevie no, got a no UTI. UTI.
Dude, what are you doing, bro? That's a lot, bro. Is it? I think Is it so. Enough? It's a lot. I mean, it's up to Jeremiah. Stevie got a UTI. <laughs> Stevie got no a UTI. No UTI. No UTI. Stevie no. got a UTI. And the old uh, man that would get rid of no. his cranberry juice. No, no, no. Stevie got a UTI. Stevie got a Dude, UTI. Dude, can you stop singing that? That's real. Oh, this is gross, right? You literally chose the challenge and the punishment, and you keep looking at us like, this is bizarre. This is hard. This is weird. This is gross. God dang, why does it taste so bad? Hey, uh, Ryan, would you mind passing me that ice cold lemon Gatorade? Oh, yeah, the original. <clears throat> the original. Shout out to me and all my fellow fat kids out there who drank these or Powerades at soccer or basketball growing up. Woo! Steve's used to like the fake cranberry juice with sugar. Yeah. Oh, I bet it's horrible. <laughs> it's super sweet. Uh, uh, uh. It just says the ingredient, the only ingredient in it's, this it's is cranberry, cranberry juice. juice. Yeah. This doesn't taste like normal cranberry juice I drink. You're used to ocean spray, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Stevie got a UTI. Dude, let's go back to our seats, man. Stevie got a UTI. No, UTI. And the only thing that would carry it is cranberry juice. All right, let's reset. Cranberry juice. Because uh, Stevie right. got a UTI. Stevie, my oh my. Come on, I don't have a UTI, man. God. And why are you drinking cranberry juice? Scissor Brothers! Are you ready for the biggest Sunday in sports? DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 57 has all the action you need. New customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in free bets instantly. Guess what? What? Jalen Hurts is going to put a hurt on your whole team. <laughs> oh, no, man. The bird, bird, bird is not the word when the Chiefs come to town because Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes are going to do it for us big, brother. We'll see about that, my friend. Plus, all customers can get in on the Super Bowl 57 excitement with DraftKings Happy Hour Super Boost. Check the DraftKings Sportsbook app every day between 6 and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to see what prop bet will be boosted. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code SCISSOR. New customers can get $5 on Super Bowl 57 and get 200 in free bets instantly. Only a DraftKings Sportsbook with code SCISSOR. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void in Ohio. See show notes for details. DraftKings! Go Jalen! Woo! Not gonna lie, I feel a little bit unsettled from that those peanuts. Yeah, I don't feel good, man. Hey, you know what's gonna help? What? What is that? You know man? our buddy Cuzzo? Yeah, shout out to Cuzzo. Shout out to Cuzzo. Let's roll a clip. He came to one of my shows in Des Moines. Yeah, Cuzzo. Oh snap, hang with Cuzzo right now out in Des Moines, Iowa. You got anything to say, Cuzzo? Uh, <laughs> How was the show? It was amazing. Heck Thank yeah. You. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we've been gaming with Cuzzo. I've been friends with them for a while Fall online. Guys. Fall guys. We've done Warzone with them. Dude, he took our scissor sauce and made a batch of beef jerky with it. What? Yes. And we're all going to try it right now. We're going to do a taste test. Dude, I love beef jerky. Dude, I know you do. So, thank you, Cuzzo. I love it. I love beef jerky. Yeah, heck yeah. Oh, he even put legit. He even put one of these in oh, there. Oh damn. Uh huh. Oh, to preserve the flavors. Yeah. Here. Can you throw me one? I'll, I'll throw you the bag, and then you throw. Yeah. Okay, throw me the bag, baby. And then you, and then you throw the bag yeah, to Ryan, baby. and then we'll all try it at the same time. Yeah. Thanks, Cuzzo. Thank you, Cuzzo. You ready? Yeah. How do you even make beef jerky? You gotta like dehydrate the meat. And yeah. Do you guys even know the Ooh, process of this making? This smells good too. 
If you want to get your hot sauce, go to revolutionaryhotsauce.com slash scissor bros. This is the first time somebody's made jerky with it. Pretty exciting. Is this Shout one, is this one batch? Pezzo. Yeah. Just one batch. Can I take some home? Dude, of course. Absolutely. He made it for us. Nice hands, Ryan. Did you used to play sports at all, Ryan? Uh, basketball. A little bit of football. Ooh. Yeah. Mostly basketball. Nice. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, let's try. You ready? It yeah. Three, two, two one. one. Mmm. Dude, that's good. That's really good. Mmm. Heck yeah. How's it? Dude, cake this is good. <clears throat> that's spicy. Dude, it tastes good too. Oh yeah. Dude, he knows how to make his stuff. Good texture. Oh, wow. This is pretty spicy. Yeah. <clears throat> the pepper stays on there. Uh-huh. Dude, I love it. It's really good. I love it. Let me bring some of this home, dude. Yeah, dude. In a Ziploc bag? Of course. Thank you, dude. No, you got to put it in your pockets. Yeah. I I thank you, Dude, this is actually, legit. You, you can, can actually sell, this, sell this at, like, you know, like when you go to gas stations? Yeah. This, no, it's that good. This would be a top... A hot seller. The texture's really good because it's not too hard. Mm -hmm. It's like, and it's not too like moist sometimes. And it tastes good. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to make beef jerky? I have no idea. Ryan, do you? You marinate, you have to get a dehydrator. And it takes a while, but you slice the beef, put it in the dehydrator. After marinating. I love that. While we're on that, that tip, mm -hmm. somebody sent this into our P.O. box a while ago. Tev D. So where, where did he send that from? He sent this from Louisiana, Gretna. If you guys want to send something into the P.O. Box, you can. It's uh, addressed to Jeremiah Watkins slash SB at P.O. Box 78375, Los Angeles, California, 90016. <gasps> Steve. Oh, my goodness. You're going to freaking love this, dude. Dude, these are custom skateboard decks. They're like tech decks. Tech decks? Oh, that's sick. Dude, they're custom. Let me see. Throw one over, baby. Oh my goodness. This is so dope. Oh these my are, god. These this are is intricate. Cool. I too. never had a tech deck. These are intricate. I never had one. Who sent this? His name's Tev D. Let's see if he wrote a note inside. Thank you. This is great. There's a whole community. There's a whole like tech deck community out there. <gasps> oh my goodness, <laughs> dude! That, you can so do your, board, your back set board dude? slide on that. Oh, you know oh, I'm doing wow. it. Wow, you know I'm doing it. This is so dope. Thank you. Who sent this? His name's Tev D. Prolific uh, series tech deck. This Here. is crazy. You know what's crazy about this too is uh. You have to assemble it like like a model airplane or something. You know, yeah, and there's like has, trucks yeah, and it's exactly the trucks like and the wheels. Right, I one for you too. Really? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This is really cool. Thank you. What's his name? Retina. Ret. <laughs> Retina. What's like his? the eye. Yeah, what's his name? Have you ever met anybody named Retina? Yeah, in there's your a life? graffiti artist named Retina. <laughs> is that their that's legal a name? Given name? No, that's his graffiti name. Um, what's his name? Dude. Ratali? Here. Oh Here, he wrote, he wrote a letter. Okay. This is, this is so exciting. Hey, fellas. Hope y'all can find the time to enjoy these. I got y'all three wooden fingerboard complete and a little rail to shred. Maybe now we'll get to see a more fair game of skate. Oh, oh maybe there could be a future a challenge. challenge. Yeah. Thank you for all of your hard work in making this pod possible. Some scissors. Much love from New Orleans, Tev. Dude, Tev, thank you, man. This is so nice. That thank was you. cool, dude. Thank you, Tev. This is great. Yeah, thanks so much. Um, can I um ask you of uh, the process as far as what made you, what motivated you to you to do a um a comedy special that fat like like quick like that what do you mean well how long didn't you just because you have a record already out yeah and so uh so what they, motivated you is it uh, just it's been it's been a couple of years now oh it has it's I, did, I, I it's, didn't know that it's already did, been a couple of years i didn't just, know that it's crazy 
I didn't know that. So I've been doing this material for a long time. It's ready to to say goodbye to it and release it. And I'm working on a lot of new material that I'm excited about that uh, I'm going to start working on and touring with. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just time. And uh, the way I look at it, um, there's so many different ways to do it right now. Uh, the moment thing, there's some comedians that are doing it, um, which, you know, it's the Wild West. So however you want to do it personally, that's, that's you know, I'm not saying... What do you mean the Wild I'm not West? discrediting, what? like, like how people release it. Some people are... What do you mean by the Wild West, though? Like, what do you mean by that? It's open. Like, it's kind of new territory to be able to self-produce and put out your own stand-up specials. A lot of people are doing it now. So let's say this was 1988 or something. Yeah. Not everyone could put out their special, right? So back then, like, this is interesting to me, because back then, you know, when, it, like, back then when comedy was around, especially stand-up comedy, because there was no internet, right? Right. So you can't, you would have to wait for a huge corporation or, like, TV company to be like... If it wasn't one of the big networks, then you wouldn't have then, a special Then no app. one would know you exist. Right. So in a way, the internet helps everyone in that sense. As well, far as your stand up, it's still, it's, I still look at it a bit of a, as like a lottery. Um, of what do you mean by that? Of course, I would like it to get tons of views. Um, but you, you just don't know. You, you, you don't know if it's, you know, gonna do like okay or if it'll catch the algorithm perfectly and start to do really well. But, um, I'm trying to manage my expectations and just kind of hope for the best and just hope that the quality speaks for itself. So, what are the most advantageous qualities of like getting your stuff picked up by like netflix or hulu or something like that well it's just the exposure yeah it's and all the legitimacy well, or something a, yeah it's all about the exposure so that's why some people are experimenting releasing on youtube because some of them have blown up on youtube uh there's guys out there and you guys keep all that money opposed to like going through a corporation yeah it's just different so it's, right. it's bigger risk but it's a bigger reward if it if it does pay off now, if you had a choice, would you want to do it on Netflix or Hulu or any of these other things? I mean, I'd love, I'd love to have a Netflix special just because of the ease of doing it. But there is something that'll be fun about just being like, just watch on YouTube. It's free. Like literally, because Netflix is still a paid subscription. This will be literally free for everybody. It's free. Yeah. Okay. And so you just, you're not doing this in, to, to, for like a money grab. This no. is just, it's, it's you want to release the opposite your, of that. You yeah. want to release your material. Want to release the art and, and hope that people like there. it and, and, and resonate it. with it and share it with friends. No, that's, that's all. commendable, yeah. man. Yeah. And then this is how long, what's the average amount of time where it takes a comedian to release a special like that, like a 45 minute to an hour thing? Uh, it's totally dependent. It's way uh, way different now. Some comedians are doing it every year or two now. Yeah, um, that was like Louis C.K. was doing it. For me, this, is, this will end up being around the two and a half to three year mark for me. And then hopefully the next one that I release will be ready in the next like year or two. So we'll see. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to talk your ear off. No, okay. not at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just know it means a lot to you, like, because it's your material, it's your thoughts. Sure, your Hard sure. work, yeah. Yeah, shot it in Madison, Wisconsin at okay. uh, Comedy on State. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, it's a yeah, cool club. Yeah. And then uh, did you have, and then you're editing everything. <clears throat> yep, yeah, I edited so it myself. everything. <laughs> edited it myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Got it. Got it. Professionally, like color corrected and uh, and like mixed audio wise, because that's out of my skill set. But yeah, mm -hmm. dude, I'm proud of you, dude. Thanks, buddy. You know, you just work hard. You know, so doing my best. Dude. Yeah. Uh, I but I saw my mom over the weekend in Des Moines. Oh, really, dude? Had the best time. I got to see my family in Iowa. You got and footage I of that? Uh, I got a little bit. Yeah. Um, here's a, just a clip of my mom and I at Olive Garden. Oh, uh, yeah. Mom and I are going all out at Olive Garden. How you doing, Mama? Wonderful. Yeah. Breadsticks and Olive Garden salad and my bubby. Yeah. Pretty happy. Yeah. Was she asking about me? She didn't this time. Oh. Did you do oh, something? Well, she probably knows I'm a taken man. That's never stopped her. You messed up, man. You did something. It would really bother you. I mean, this this is a gag, and it's it's been a bit of ours, but I don't think, if I really got with your mom, I don't think you would really appreciate that, man. I think I would. If I got with your mom? Yeah, dude. I like you better than her current husband. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Come on, man. Come on, Steve. We go it, play catch would, with me. It would bother me so Steve. bad if you got with my mom. If oh my god, I just had a visual. If I walked in and you're with my mom, well, I'm not walking in on you guys. But you had the visual. Continue. No, I don't want to continue. What happened? Like, what? What was the visual you had? You already had I'd it. Walk in, mom. What are you doing? And then you pop up underneath the sheets, and oh, that'd be a that'd be a nightmare. Oh, I just imagine you going. Nightmare. I just imagine you going. That's my chingu. <laughs> That's, my- <laughs> That's pretty funny, dude. <laughs> no, mom. Uh, yeah. That's, That's my, my chingu. <laughs> Oh my God! If she was happy afterwards, yeah. would you, that make would you know that be what? cool I've to always, you? Uh, what would you say, <laughs> dude? Seriously, dude, you're on a thin. If she line was pleased, right what, <laughs> dude? Was, you better watch that. If your tongue, mom was baby. pleasant after we hooked up, would you that? Would, oh my God! Why did I even bring that up, dude? It's really, <laughs> it's really affecting my. Oh no, Steve, no. Oh, oh no. Like like your no. mom is like you see her around the house she's in a really good mood all of a sudden after she or if you if you're going if you if you're down st- oh my god if you're eating my- oh no oh no you keep putting these I, thoughts in your own I head I see my mom laying down and I'm like and then I hear you go <laughs> just just chewing away and then you get up and you go and then you like. You come up, pop up from the I covers. Go, hey, Steve. Yeah, and then you got like a black pubic hair and your your your, your tooth. Right, you're like, man. And you're like, <laughs> and I go, and I go, yeah. hey, I go, hey, buddy, can you give me five? <laughs> and then do the Asian accent. <laughs> no, <laughs> do the one liner. No, what would you do? I walk in, <laughs> and then they're like, gobble, 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 oh gobble, 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 and then you pop your head up. Give me the line. <laughs> I'm not doing <laughs> give it. Give me the one line. No. Patreon.com slash scissor bros. Will you do it on the Patreon? Who knows? We'll find out on Patreon.com you know slash scissor bros. Can I plug it a little bit? For those of you who don't know. Lightly. Do it light. Okay. For those of you who don't know, we do a whole bonus episode only on our Patreon. And it's like the raw, unfiltered, uncensored, a whole bonus episode only on our Patreon. So go to patreon.com slash scissor bros. That's so it. So I saw my family in Iowa and uh, I hadn't gotten to see my uncle in a long time. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my uncle Todd. Shout out to my aunt Tiff and Doug. Um, and it was awesome to see them. We cool. got to hang out back at their place. Yeah. And just like catch up and laugh. Just, you know, reminisce. Just talk That's about cool. different memories yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then my mom drove up to Iowa on the Saturday Took her to Olive Garden. We got to hang out after the show. And it was cool because the venue, they had a poster of me in the window. Yeah. Uh, and they gave that to my mom uh, at the because it was the oh, end of the weekend. Oh, that's so sweet. So she got to take yeah. a little poster at home with me. And then... Uh, What's bothering me is uh, that you went to Olive Garden? Is yeah. that... What is this, 1997? Or like, what's going on here, dude? Is that still around? Mark, mark your words pretty carefully, what you're saying to me right now. Well, I'll wait. <laughs> mark your words pretty oh, carefully. Oh, you have a... I love me some Olive Garden. What? <laughs> That's one of my favorite restaurants to eat at with my family. <laughs> you like that plain shit, don't you? What? You like that? You like Borrow's Pizza, just the sliced old slices of pizza. You like... I'm not... I'm not making fun of your palate, but it is a bit plain. It is a bit. What? What? I say mean, it. It's, just maybe come it's a Midwest thing. Hey, I don't know. Listen, no. you're we already eating talking palate. About, I'm not saying I'm gourmet. I we eat the worst out of everyone. Mom, okay? So you can honestly say whatever you want to me I'm at this just point. saying Olive Garden is like the plain of the plain of the plain. What's Jane? better than Olive Garden to you? Like of of like of like to, to go out to eat with Italian, family? I mean, yeah, you not, know. I mean, there's a uh, de Peppos. Is that better than Olive Garden? I think a little bit. Is it? I think a little bit. Ryan, is it? Ryan yeah, agrees. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't think absolutely. I've had Buga de Beppo. Like, all of, it's kind of like, isn't it like plain? I'm just saying, all I know is they have breadsticks and salad, right? And that's Dude, and they're so good. They're endless. That's why he likes it, because they're endless. That's I just got it. it make, it's just all coming together. Okay. <gasps> Frugal, Frugal Brothers, Brothers Strike again. again. Hey, but I, I did treat my mom. 
Good for you. Didn't that feel good, man? <laughs> it, honestly, yeah. she was trying to pay, and I was just like, please just. I had to flag down the waitress and be like, please take my card. My mom is going to try to pay for this meal. It's yeah. not happening. What's the main course? Like, oh, I, I always get the tour of Italy. What the hell is that? Well, Ryan, what was that judgment, Did he bro? just say tour of Italy? Yeah. Meaning. Dude, that is. <laughs> So I really sounding. do not like that you guys are ganging Dude, up on me on this Ryan, Olive Garden thing right now. He just said the tour of Italy. I want to know what the hell this is. What is the tour of Italy? Oh, I'll tell you. Go ahead. It's fettuccine Alfredo. It's chicken parmesan. It's lasagna all on one plate because you know what? You need a tour when you go to Italy. You need a little bit of everything. That's, dude, that's such an insult to Italy, dude. That is Midwest bullshit fusion food, man. It's not Italian at all. You like what are you doing? Complaining? You're combining lasagna with fettuccine, spaghetti, and throwing in a hot dog in the middle. Come on, man. <laughs> that's not that's not Italian food, man. And that's a disgrace to real Italians in Sicily right now. Were you doing that accent? You even like comparing that food to Olive Garden, man. Come on down that's to the, come on down to the old country. Hey, Olive Garden. Santino, come on down to Nini. My mama the come on down. Oh, shout the Santino. Come on down to Nani, come on down to Hey, Paulie, get over here. Come on down to Nini, come on down. You gave a shout out to Santino. Yeah. Watch Cheeseburger on Netflix. Yeah. Oh uh, no, it's okay. If you like it, you like it. Hey, you know what? I don't think I've gone to Olive Garden since like the nineties or something. Oh, you want to go to Olive Garden? Well, I'm now? just curious because you're like, why can't why can't they just call it chicken Alfredo? Why do they have this something in the House of Italy or the? It's because it's three different menu items on one plate. It's the tour of Italy. Oh God, that bothered me so bad. <laughs> oh, I just got it. Oh, whoa. That's so cringe. What? So it's really, dude. Yeah, dude. So why if, are they combining? If we went everything? to Sun Nong Don and there was a they meal, that's like combined. That's a good example. It was a meal called the Korean Tour, and it was like three, three different, different things. That would piss you one. off. Oh, gross, dude. Stick to one and make it good. God, man. Okay, what are your thoughts on Red Lobster? Hmm. Dude, Ryan, quit shaking your freaking head, dude. Yeah, your palate these, is questionable, these man. These two you're restaurants, mid- are, on- are, they're part of my childhood. I have great nostalgia yeah, around these. You have, you have, so yeah. everywhere where they give you like pretty good bread? Yeah. Okay. What is it, like Wonder Bread and they just toast it and put no. butter on it? Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Cheesy Biscuits, baby. <sighs> Okay, sound off in the comments if you are Team Olive Garden and Red Lobster, guys, because they're giving me some mega Dude, crap Sizzler right now. Sizzler, I can and work with really... you with Sizzler. I can work with that. I can work with Sizzler. I can work with that because they have the whole salad bar thing. I can work with Sizzler. You know what? I could I could kind of work with Red. I'll work with Red Lobster too. You, I could work with Red Lobster, but the Olive Garden thing—that's just kind of left field for me. I'm just like, uh, but you know what? Prove me wrong. Maybe we should go. It's been since it's been decades since I've been to okay, an Olive Garden. Okay, maybe we so will maybe have you to. could prove me wrong. Okay. Maybe we'll have to. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Ooh, I'm sorry. I didn't think we'd even talk about Olive Garden today. That's that's a crazy thing. Well, I didn't think so either. Yeah. Um. I watched this movie with my mom called Mind Cage. <laughs> You're really throwing in the curveballs today. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Where? What channel? And what? It was a pay-per-view. Pay-per-view. I went all out for my mama this weekend, man. Pay-per-view. Yeah, in the hotel room. Oh, pay-per-view in the hotel room. Yeah. Okay. Because my mom, my I got my mom a separate room. The whole thing, man. Good for you. Anti frugal brothers for my mama. For my mama, I don't go frugal. That's a Patreon money, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much Patreon. for supporting. Flash Scissor Bros, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting me and my mom on Patreon. <laughs> You're allowing him to go to Olive Garden with his mom and get pay-per-view movies in the hotel room. That's a great thing. It's a great thing. Um, what's this movie about? Why'd you choose this movie? Uh, it stars John Malkovich and Martin Lawrence. Odd combo. That's a very... Mm-hmm. Odd combo. Yeah. Very odd. I I, I've it. always been a John Malkovich fan. He's a great I mean, actor. Have you seen Burn After Reading? Uh, no. Being John Malkovich? Heard of it. Okay. 
Well, you know what? I'll check it. I mean, did you like it? John Malkovich is the Olive Garden of actors for you. You're trying to get me hyped up on it, but I'm like, yeah, no, I've heard, I've heard of it. Yeah, no, people like it. No, he's just been around, you know. Olive Garden's been around, man. <sighs> How are we doing on time? <laughs> <laughs> Did Steve just ask for the light on this podcast? <laughs> How much time do I have left? Anybody? How Anybody? How time, baby? We've got uh, a fan art submission Ooh, from yeah. Alec Ewart. Shit and farts are like two different things, man. And I like how... I like how he made me look like I have... Say it. Down syndrome. I thought that you look like the Hey You guys from the Goonies. Sloth. <laughs> Dude, I would flick you off. You have a little bit of a sloth Why? quality. You know, you know who I look like? I look like Rocky Balboa. <laughs> After getting in a fight? After he fought Ivan Drago. Dude, thank you for this art, dude. I That's love awesome. I it, dude. Loving every minute dude, of it. Dude, that's crazy. He got my hands right. You do do you do this you do this a lot. I do this. I I go like this, don't I? I go, dude. Think about it. Think about it. Yeah. Thank you, dude. That's nice. That's cool. Maybe make this into a future T-shirt or something or a sticker. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we don't have any. We should make um a sticker. Uh, don't you think it's time for a Scissor Bro sticker pack? Mm. We haven't done anything like that. We haven't made any new we merch in a little bit. No, I'm just saying bit. just just a sticker pack. Just sticker pack? Yeah. That'd be cool. And then not only that, we could have fans submit their art and we'll make stickers out of the fans' artwork. That'd be awesome. What do you think? I'm into the idea. Yeah. Scissorbrospot at gmail.com if you want to yeah. send some art over to yeah. possibly make some stickers out of it. Uh, do you mind if I light this candle? Uh, Why? Did you smell your own breath? When Steve doesn't even acknowledge something, that's when I know that he really didn't like something. What are you talking about? It didn't bother me. So, guys, are you open to eating at Olive Garden, and then we do uh, a fart corner with a tour of Shittily? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't done stuff with poo in a while, huh? Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. We haven't. No. Yeah, we haven't. But yeah, eventually we we should we should look into that. Yeah. Do you want to do a, a closing song, buddy? Um. Yeah. Do you want to play something? Yeah. Or why don't you play something? Like and then you sing. Yeah, on I'll it. sing, sing it. Yeah. Can you just repeat that then? Just 
throwing random pasta and they want to rename it. You are out of line, my friend. And I don't want our friendship to end because I will die, die for my olive garden. garden is God. Farting. Charge the restaurant like a Spartan When I go in there I'm departing Yeah When you hear your family Patreon.com slash Susan Bros for that bonus episode. Thanks for tuning in, my friends. <laughs> hey, that was fun. How about that last part? That was yeah. Like... Ooh, when you hear your family, when you're watching Susan Bros, when you hear your family. Scissor Bros When you hear your family Our Scissor Family Scissor Brothers! Um, hello? Is anyone still there? It's your pal, Gerald, and hope you guys are having a good day. I can't believe we're already in February, and we're coming up on our 100th episode. Do you have any guesses on who our guest might be? It's a pretty wild episode. Stay tuned. Well, anyway, I'm thinking about getting um, a hoof reduction. It's been really getting in the way when I'm going to town on different ladies and, you know, I'm just a little bit too big for them down there. But anyway, I digress. Hope you guys are having a good day. Like I said, I hope they start fucking talking to me again pretty soon here. Otherwise, I might just go missing one of these days. And I love you. Bye. When you watch and scissor bros, when you hear. Our scissor family